Thomas, Percy, and the Coal. It was a beautiful morning on the island of Sodor. Thomas the tank engine's blue paint sparkled in the sunshine as he bumped happily along the branch line with his coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas made good time and soon arrived at the station where Toby and Percy were waiting. He was feeling very pleased with himself. Hello, Thomas, whistled Percy. You look splendid. Yes, indeed, boasted Thomas. Blue is the only proper color for an engine. Oh, I don't know. I like my brown paint, said Toby. I've always been green. I wouldn't want to be any other color either, added Percy. Well, anyway, huffed Thomas, blue is the only color for a really useful engine. Everyone knows that. Percy said no more. He just grinned at Toby. They knew only too well that Thomas sometimes could be a little too cheeky for his own good. Later, Thomas was resting in a siding when Percy arrived in the yard. Percy pulled his trucks to a large hopper to load them with coal. Thomas was still being cheeky. Careful, Percy, he warned. Watch out with those silly trucks. Go on, go on, muttered the trucks as Percy pulled each one under the hopper. And by the way, Thomas went on, those buffers don't look very safe to me. But he got no further. With a tremendous bump, the last truck passed the hopper much too fast. The coal poured down all over Thomas. Help! I'm choking! cried Thomas. Get me out! Percy was worried, but he couldn't help laughing. Thomas' smart blue paint was covered in coal dust from smoke box to bunker. Ha <laughs> ha! chuckled Percy. You don't look really useful now, Thomas. You look really disgraceful. I'm not disgraceful, choked Thomas. You did that on purpose. Get me out. It took the man so long to clean Thomas that he wasn't in time for his next train. Toby had to take Annie and Clarabelle instead. Poor Thomas, whispered Annie and Clarabelle. They were most upset. Thomas was upset too. He was very grumpy in the shed that night. Toby thought it a great joke, but Percy was cross with Thomas for thinking that he had made his made Thomas his, the paint dirty on purpose. Fancy a really useful blue engine like Thomas becoming a disgrace to the Fat Controller's Railway," said Percy. "Puh! I wouldn't have missed all that fun for anything," he chuckled. Thomas was at the platform the next day when Percy brought his trucks in from the junction. The trucks were heavy. I feel so tired, Percy puffed as he pulled into the station. Why don't you go off and have a drink, said his driver. Then you'll feel better. The water column stood at the end of the siding with the unsafe buffers. The props underneath the buffers were all the needed mending. Percy moved forward and found that he couldn't stop. The buffers didn't stop him either. Oh, wailed Percy. Somebody help me. The buffers were broken and Percy was wheel deep in coal. It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. Now Percy had learned his lesson too, he chuckled to himself. That night, the two engines made up their quarrel. I didn't cause your accident on purpose, Thomas, whispered Percy. You do know that, don't you? Of course, replied Thomas, and I'm sorry I was cheeky. Your green paint looks splendid again, too. In future, we'll both be more careful of coal, said Thomas wisely.